Hey guys, welcome back, it's Destiny. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this Fortnite Loot Llama bookmark. So before I get started, let me tell you what you'll need. So you'll need one blank piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and then you'll need some colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, you can just color onto some white paper. So I have light blue, dark blue, uh, light purple, and dark purple, and then I have some brown and black. You'll only need a little bit of that though, so if you don't have those, you can just color onto white paper. And then you'll need some glue, scissors, and then some markers, black and brown. So, first I'm gonna show you how to make the bookmark part of it. So you're gonna need your white paper, and you're gonna start folding it. So you're gonna fold the bottom up to form this triangular piece and then you're going to cut this rectangle off. Then you don't need that anymore. So now with your triangle you're going to leave it folded like that and then you're going to fold the two corners up to make a little square. So it looks like that. Okay, now you're going to grab, you're just going to leave it like that, and then you're going to flip it around like this, and you're just going to lightly mark where you want the legs to go. So, I just color, and it it's okay if you mess up because you're going to be gluing paper onto this, so the black coloring will be covered up. So next, I'm gonna cut out some dark blue paper for the legs to go on my white bookmark. So I'm gonna try to make it the same size as the little black squares that I drew on my white paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut it as best as you can. And then I'm gonna glue those legs onto my white paper. And if you still see some black markers, that's okay, because in the end, it'll all get covered up. So that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna color, color the bottom of the legs black. So this is supposed to be the hooves of the llama. Just color the ends as much as you think. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to cut our strips of paper to create this on the llama. So, this is how I did it. I've already cut my strips, but I'll show you how I got it. So you want about six to eight strips of the various different colors. So I lined up all of my paper together, and then I just cut about an inch wide and about three inches long to create my strips. And if they're a little bit too big, that's okay, because we can cut them at the end. So, these are my pre-made strips that I've already cut. And we want to make them have this effect where it looks like a pinata. You see the little slits? So I already did it to most of my strips, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So I'll show you with this purple strip. So you're just gonna cut 
little slits into your paper so it looks like a pinata. And they don't have to be super close together or super far away. Just cut, oops, <laughs> I cut it off, that's okay. It was a little bit too long anyways. Just cut so it looks like a pinata. And the more little slits you have, the better, because it looks more like a pinata, like this. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to glue your strips onto the paper. So I'm gonna follow the pattern of my llama. So I have this purple. And I'm just gonna lay it out first before I glue it, just to make sure and see what I need to cut. And then this purple. Okay, I'm actually gonna cut this one first. So this strip is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut the excess off and then glue it. Place it like that. And then I'm gonna do the next color, which is this color of purple. I'm gonna lay it just over top of the first one. And it is also a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut it to size. And then I'm gonna glue it down. And depending on how big your strips are is what determines how many you're gonna have to use. So if you do more strips that are thicker, then you won't have to glue as many down. But either way is okay. So next I'm gonna do this turquoise color. So this one is also a little bit too long. I'm gonna cut it to size and then glue it on here. And I found that it works best if you glue directly onto the bookmark instead of trying to glue the strips themselves because they might tear. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this light blue color next. It kind of looks white on camera, but it's light blue. And like I said, if you don't have these colors of paper, you can color them yourself. If you have crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you might have. Okay, so now I'm gonna color, I mean glue this color of purple again. Because it's the pattern we're following. And then this will be my last strip of this color of purple. Okay, so I've glued all of my strips down, as you can see. So now I'm gonna create the head of the llama, and I'm gonna be using this color of purple. So I'm gonna show you how I drew the head. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best to follow along. So I just did a straight line, and then I kind of curved for the head curve and ears and then I kind of curved again for the other ear and then you go straight out for the mouth down in then out again down back in and then straight so that's what it looks like like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. It's your creation. So now I'm gonna cut that out. And get ready to glue it on. 
I thought this craft would be fun because I know you guys like Fortnite. And I thought it would be cool to have a Fortnite bookmark so that you're still reading during this time. Okay, so my head is all cut out. So now, I'm going to glue it on. So you just glue it directly onto those strips. So now the formation of our llama is almost complete. We're just gonna add a few quick touches. So as you can see on my completed llama, we have this arrow here. So I'm gonna show you how to create that really quick. So I used one black square. If you don't have black, you can just make it. And then I used a light brown square and I just made it a little bit smaller and I glued it right on top of the black square. So, and then I glued that directly onto the llama, right about there. And then I just drew an arrow, which is just one rectangle like that, and then a triangle on top. And then for details, because the loot llama on Fortnite has a little bit of spirally things, so I just drew some circles on top. And you don't have to do that part if you don't want to, but I thought it would be fun. Okay, now I'm going to draw the eyes and little cheek dimple of the llama. So. He only has one eye because we're looking at him sideways. So I just draw a circle and then another circle. And then down here, I drew the cheek dimple. And now we'll draw the brown rope. So you just draw one long rectangle like that. And then another long rectangle going the other way like that okay we only have a couple more steps left so as you can see by the feet it's kind of white so I'm going to cut that white part off so that it looks like a llama and as always please please be careful with scissors Okay, so now that that is cut off, we have our final step, which is the tail. So I went ahead and cut some strips of purple. So I cut two strips of each color of purple. And these are just tiny, about half an inch. And you're just going to glue those right on the back of the bookmark. like that like this so now your bookmark is complete I hope you enjoyed this you guys I know you guys really like Fortnite, so I hope you complete this craft if you do please comment pictures of it down below and I'll see you guys next time thanks